Thank you, Glorious. Good. Now, Tenubu is on my table, and I'm not slaughtering him. I'm only unearthing him. Yes. What sin has Tinubu committed that his lifetime ambition is being resisted by those who ordinarily should elevate it? Has Tinubu been caught in his own plot? Even Yemi Oshibajo, his man, has become his main stumbling block. I thought this said Oshibajo rode to being vice president on the back of Tinubu. In this 2014 interview, Oshibajo explains Tinubu, his man. Do you think you are a product of Bodilon? And if you mean uh, Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, yeah. if that's what you mean. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let, let, let me explain that. In the first place, the only, the, my, my first encounter with uh, the governance at all was as special advisor to Bola Ajibola, who was attorney general, right? My second encounter was with the Lagos state government. I was appointed by Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu, who, of course, did not even know me as a person, but perhaps had heard of me by reputation and all of that, and appointed me to be Attorney General. And what we experienced in Lagos State, you know, under him, he appointed myself, Wally Edwin, Yemi Cardoso, Arek Beshola, quite a few of us who, at the time, were not necessarily politicians, and, put, and Dele Alake pointed us into, into those uh, positions, because he wanted to build up a, you know, a, a body of technocrats who also have some political experience because he strongly believed that the way to go about governance in this country is to bring in people, technocrats, not necessarily politicians, but technocrats who will eventually, you know, get into politics one way or the other in order to be able to build this country up properly. Now, one thing that I, I think that uh, uh, Bola Tinobu has done over the years, and one thing no one can take away from him, is that he has ensured everywhere that even those he supports into public office are people that eventually turn out to be very, very, very good and show that they were in fact competent. Fashola, for example, Fayemi in Ekiti, Aregwe Shola in Oshun State, you know, um, even some of those, Ebajimobi, uh, Amosun, there's no, no one can say these are stooges or fools. No one can say that. You know, and I think that it's important for us to recognize that attribute of the man. You know, that he's someone who at least has, in the public life of this country, managed to promote merit. I mean, if you look at the governors, any of the governors, look at the Fashola, for instance. Oh, when, when, when Fashola was appointed, a lot of people said, oh, he was uh, uh, Tinobu's man, Tinobu's man. But today, people are, she, she, are, are saying, yes, Fashola is a good governor, you know, and that is done very well. Same as the governors everywhere, same as the other governors, same as Arik Beshola, who has shown by the social programs that is inaugurated in Russian State, that it is possible for government to be, to, be, uh, to take account of the poor. He nominated, so me, he nominated you, right? Oh, God, clearly he must have supported my nomination. He must have supported my nomination. Supported? Yeah, I must or have nominated? No, no, no. There are, there are many persons who are nominated. There's nobody who was running who was not being considered. You know, I don't think that it really comes down to... Did he insist on Professor Yemi or Shibanjo? I wouldn't know of any of the internal details. I didn't attend any meetings. I didn't know any of that. I don't know any of the internal details. But there's no question at all that he definitely supported uh, my, my nomination. If, if he didn't, and the other party leaders didn't support my nomination, I wouldn't be... I wouldn't be <laughs> obviously, I wouldn't be nominated. State Affairs with Edmondo Bilo is live. That is the Vice President of Nigeria, Professor Yamio Shibajo. I spoke with him in 2014 after he was nominated as Buhari's running mate. 